Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I hope everyone is being festive. Well, it finally cooled down a bit here. It's about five o'clock and it's getting dark. So my car smells so good. <laughs> I bought a box of cookies at McDonald's. They're about $5. I cannot make cookies this good. I can make some good cookies, but not this good so if you buy the box you get a free cookie so it's 13 cookies for five bucks mm. the mcdonald's on fletcher parkway makes the best cookies <laughs> and i got some diet coke so the little by little approach is the best on everything. And also that goes for holidays too. My Christmas trees got so messed up. I have been trying to like, uh, the, on YouTube it says fluff them. Fluff them nothing. It's like a war. I go, you trees have to look better than this. This has been going on for days, but it's like any endeavor you start to see daylight so I have hopes so uh, there's a Dollar Tree there next door so I went in there and I bought this is a dollar 25 and this is good for very awful uh, messes like you know if someone's dog was to urinate in front of my townhouse that would be so rude but I can spray this on and then I just take newspaper and I wipe it up. So why can't the owners of these dogs possibly do that? Well, all I can say is they're better than they used to be. They had me at their wits end. So I went to Dollar Tree and I, I am going to try these because you get three, um, three for a dollar 25 so that's pretty cheap and so um i'm still working on the monthly stockpile but it occurred to me that i need four milks i need uh, a box of cheese or one of those parmesan cheese so once i know i need about four for a month and then i buy uh two of these um hot chocolates for the stockpile so I need two of these so I can also stockpile by uh, putting these in uh, you know sequestering like the hot chocolate so I need uh, for a year I need 24 boxes or something similar to that and on the milk it would be four for 48 for a year that's not a real uh, a real month but it will get you by and then I try to stockpile good crackers what I'm going to make for dinner I, I'm doing this in the car today but I bought beef soups and I'm going to make meatballs and I learned this from Jan from New York City Saves Money thank you very much Jan you make meatballs and then you pour tomato sauce after the cook after the bake you pour tomato sauce on the top and then you put some grated parmesan cheese and you melt that so i'm having uh, meatballs and i'm having roasted potatoes and carrots the the rabbits are doing very good i don't have the rabbits my son has the rabbits but i got carrots at uh, trader joe's 89 cents for the rabbits and I didn't know this. I found out rabbits are not supposed to eat lettuce. I go, okay, well, whatever. Then I bought, look at this cute thing. Uh, my granddaughter loves Mickey Mouse. So I'm buying cute kid stuff. And I got another one of these so I can light my candle. Then I got dog treats. You know, I had to buy two. There's two dogs. They guard the house. They guard the baby. They guard my son. They will bite. They bite me. Not hard, but they like to bite. Okay, and then I thought I'll try these sleeping pills, $1.25. 
And then I'm trading my blue candles in for green. Um, I started buying this uh, green stuff because Ellen's Abundant Life on Less has a lot of nice green. And her house is looking very, very good. Then they had these for $1.25. And what I do is I just mix them up. And I like... Um, I like to make monster cookies, so it's one quarter cup dough, and I roll them in like a round bowl, and then I just press them down, and I make a thumbprint, and I put my homemade jam. I have great jam. That would be good. And I bought, uh, this is a four-in-one pen, red, blue, black. I go $1.25, and then I, I bought, this is good hair conditioner for $1.25 at Dollar Tree. I bought uh, some animals. Uh, I'm trying to get for the baby every animal. These are cute. And this is going to be look at this thing. Now this is something everyone needs, don't you think? This is supposed to be a lighting I don't know how you make it go, but a flamingo. Uh, we have this, the world's finest uh, zoo here. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm getting various small toys and I'm putting them in a big uh, gift bag. Okay, so gifts do not have to be expensive to be festive. And so I love to celebrate Christmas, but I hate to spend a lot of money. I don't think it's a good idea. <laughs> Uh, we're supposed to be getting uh, inflation beating stimulus checks. If we get one, if and when, I'm not spending mine, no matter what. Because we don't know what the future is going to hold. What I think the future is going to hold is more of the same, you know. Um, so I, we've already been through more of the same. So we know what to do. Uh, they might spring some stuff on us, but if they do, uh, you know, we're pretty much prepared. Um, also, um, one thing that is very festive to do that doesn't cost much money is uh, bake some fruit bread and wrap it up in foil with a bowl on top. People love to get that. There's zucchini bread, pumpkin bread, banana bread, uh, applesauce bread. Those are very festive. Or how about some of those uh, thumbprint cookies if you have to go to a, a party. I used to, when I used to go to potlucks when I was young, you know, I was always poor. I'm still poor. I've adjusted. I've accepted my fate in life. So, so I used to get uh, chicken legs. They're still the cheapest. And I would uh, bake them on a cookie sheet, and then I would, I when they were done, almost, I would put barbecue sauce on them, two cookie sheets full, and then I would just take them out of the oven, cover them with foil, and take them to the parties, and there was never any left. That's still a cheap one. Another thing that is really festive and not too expensive is festive dips. Now you can buy them, but the old fashioned the old fashioned homemade ones were some of the best. And those are really good for a party. And people like to dip veggies. So I'm exploring um, Trader Joe's after the um, after I went to the food pantry. And um, I don't really have any plans of going back to the food pantry. Uh, right now, um, but um, I like the way that they gave us the, the veggies, and so I wrote down the amounts, and so what I'm looking for now is good fruit. I'll tell you a good gift. How about some homemade jam, you guys? How about some refrigerator pickles for your parties? How about some big bowls of potato salad? My sister used to make the best potato salad. And I always used to say to my son, who makes the best potato salad, Mikey? And he used to always say, he was always honest, my sister. I go, you are lying. But we were both basically making it like my grandmother, okay? 
So, okay, you guys, I will see you soon. Be festive. Don't be a Scrooge. That's, that's also, don't forget thrift stores. I buy brand new stuff in thrift stores. I bought this lovely sweater at a thrift store. Oh, I'll show you something. Um, I took this out because I couldn't find this bracelet for the longest time and I had it in my glove compartment. But I buy jewelry for bulk, by bulk, and I like to buy wear two and three of these and I have some nice silver bracelets. So, um, you know, stuff like that is nice and festive for Christmas. Uh, good cotton sweaters. I showed you some of the sweaters nice coats um okay i will see you tomorrow please like comment and subscribe and god bless you all